What's up guys, it's Johnny Tech, and today we're gonna to be reviewing the ExpressVPN AirCove Wi-Fi 6 Ultra Fast Router. Let's get into it. All right, first I'm gonna show you a little bit of the basics about the router. We see we have four LAN ports, ethernet ports, RJ45 if you wanna get very specific. Uh, we have another one that is for the internet. So this router is not a modem built-in router. So it is a router, it's almost like a wireless access point, but it connects straight to your, your router that's given by the ISP or router and modem. So you would plug this into the internet spot and then <clears throat> connect this into your router, um, your existing router or modem. However your setup is. Most, time, most of the time you have a router built or a modem built into router setup. So it's a, it's a router modem, basically, what it's called. So you plug that in, plug that into the other side, then you grab your plug-in, your power, your power, power, plug it into the power port, and obviously plug plug this into the wall. Once it comes on, you'll see a, a white light, and you'll be good to go. And I'm gonna show you a video right now on how to set it up and install it um, with the VPN or without. So let's play that quick, and then we'll come right back. Alright guys, I'm going to show you how to install the router and configure it. First, you want to go to expressvpnrouter.com. Once you're there, you want to select your language and then hit get started. Wait for it to detect, to detect an internet connection. Then you can put in your ExpressVPN activation code uh, for the VPN itself. But for ex this example, I'm um, just going to hit exit. And if you don't have it, you can hit exit exit as well so now you uh, want to name your router highly recommend that you change it to something um, secure and unknowable so you want to put the Wi-Fi name in and then the Wi-Fi password in and you can see it here just as an example all right next this is not to log into your Wi-Fi but actually the router um, itself so the configuration so you want to type in a router admin password so whatever you want it to be to get into your router's config um, so make sure that is secure as well but for this example just put johnny tech um now what you see here is the dashboard is very easily um you can easily navigate where you're going and what you're doing it's very simple setup Right now it says no VPN, uh, that's because we didn't set it up. If it did, it, it would say something like New York or your, somewhere near your location. At the top, you can hit sign in. And uh, if you are not, if you forgot to sign in, you can sign in later, right there right at the top. Makes it really easy. Then we have suggested groups um, or pre-built groups that are uh, you know built for your certain thing. Uh, so gaming, streaming, smart home, no VPN, and a uh, guest, whatever, whatever fits your needs. Over on the side, you have VPN options, and that's where you can also connect your uh, ExpressVPN password. Here you can separate your Wi-Fi or uh, enable the Wi-Fi network. Um, usually you want to separate these two, so there's different um, bands used for different, you know, devices. Uh, and in WEPA3 security, you should enable that very strong encryption and network security. Next, we have the internet. You can uh, how you get an IP address. You can do DH DHCP or just a static put in yourself. Here, you can change the router IP setup and the DH server uh, IP. So that's basically it for the installation. I showed most of it and a little extra of the configuration. So let's go back to John in the basement. All right, now you got it set up. Let's talk about what this actually is and what it does before we talk about is it worth it and what the speeds are like. Um, so first, it's Wi-Fi 6, which is the IEEE 802.11 AX standard. So that basically stands for Wi-Fi 6. The, the technical term is what I just said previously. Um, and the IEEE 802.11 AC is the Wi-Fi 5 router. The Wi-Fi 6 is backwards compatible, not the Wi-Fi 6E, but Wi-Fi 6, which this is. Um, it's backwards compatible with other devices. Um, 
uh, you know, with 2.4G and 5G. The AC is not backwards compatible. It just has AC or it just has 2.4G and 5G. Um, just like this does, but obviously this one is backwards compatible, like I said. What Wi-Fi 6 does is it just has uh, added security, the new, stand, uh, new standard WPA3 security, and you can enable that on the dashboard as I show you showed you in the video. It's also supposed to support higher speeds. That's basically what Wi-Fi 6 has done is you know it looked for speeds but more importantly the security aspect of wpa3 so yeah on the back just one thing to mention your wi-fi um your model your input and you also have the wi-fi name and wi-fi password to initially join the network why uh wirelessly why get this router is because the expressvpn built into it makes it easy the configuration is easy everything's easy about it the express VPN, you can um, configure it on smart devices uh, like a TV and your X and consoles like Xbox or PlayStation, which you normally can't do because it, there's no app or VPNs on those uh, type of devices. So that's what this is basically handy for. For other devices, you could obviously just get the app and share the same code on different devices, which I do um have on my different devices and you know i use when i want if you want easy setup you can have it or you know whatever the devices connect let's say i'm out at the um, park playing basketball then i come home it automatically connect connects me to a certain group that has uh let's say a brazil vpn i'm connected automatically connected to the brazil vpn i don't i mean i don't have to take the extra step and go to the express vpn app maybe you might forget that to enable your vpn but here it, it does it automatically so that's one plus i guess but the main thing is for you know tvs and consoles and that extra layer of security due to wi-fi 6. so yeah that is a plus on amazon this is 190 dollars uh, I'll show you a picture of it and I made a little brief uh, summarization of what it what it does and I already told you basically what it does so it has a built-in VPN service what that does a VPN is a virtual private network and it secures and encrypts your data while you surf the internet basically and surf means just you know navigate browse whatever you're doing on the internet it secures all of your devices by simply connecting to the router uh, it has a different VPN locations for different devices, which I showed you on the video previously. You can have different VPNs connected to different groups and add those devices to different groups. Like I said, so one, the TV might be in Brazil, my phone might be in New York, and my mom's phone might be in Spain. Uh, fourth up is the speed. This is important for you guys. Uh, for 2.4G, it goes up to 600 megabits per second, and it goes up to 1200 megabit megabits per second on 5G. First, do not get this if you think it's going to boost your speeds magically, because it, it, it's not. It first relies on your internet ser service provider. If you only have a plan that goes up to 300 megabits per second, you're not going to get 1000 megabits per second, because you can't to your ISP but let's say you're getting 300 megabits per second you want it higher but you have a plan that goes up to 1 gigabit or 1000 megabits per second and so you're like okay I need to update the router so then you buy this and now your speeds are up to a thousand megabits per second so that's that's how you upgrade your speed it all relies on the ISP but then it also relies secondly on the router um, you know what it can perform how it can perform how much speed it can perform if you're looking for an upgrade because your plan your ISP plan is much higher than you're getting and get this get a router that supports that yeah, so that's basically it for um, what it what it does let's get into the speeds and how it performed with my current router one disclaimer is that the VPN will dramatically decrease your megabits per second um, at least on the 5g and the Ethernet uh, but moving on, so this first is no VPN. The download speed, as you see on 2.4G, the air code beat it by about 100. On 5G, it beat it about 50 megabits per second. And the ethernet, they're about the same. You know, if you test it again, it'll come out basically the same. You know, they're off by six, which, you know, like I said, basically means the same thing. So overall, the air code did perform better on both 2.4 and 5G. 
um, the Ethernet was about the same because again, you know, the ISP, my max is one gigabit and that is about one gigabit and that's what I'm going to get no matter what. So now we move on to the upload speed with no VPN. We see that the, actually my Eris perform, performed higher than the air code. And this doesn't really matter um, because, well, it does, but uh, right here it doesn't because it's only off by one or two on the 2.4G and the 5G. And then the ethernet, you see it's basically the same. This is not a huge factor uh, because how small the difference is. So moving on, we have the download speed with the VPN active. We see how much they have decreased, especially with the ethernet. So the 2.4G actually uh, was 14 megabits per, per second higher than the 5G not sure why about that uh the ethernet from 900 all the way down to 138 which is a big difference now we go to the upload speed again they're around the same thing the 2.4 g beat the 5g and upload and the ethernet is basically the same so again no real difference in upload speed when the vpn is active but in download that is going to be a problem for many of you because you love your high speeds especially myself again you don't have to have it active you, you you can use it without the vpn so those are all the speeds and um the tests that i ran through um to make sure or to see how th this router performed so yeah in my opinion i believe that it is worth it if you are not really tech savvy or stuff like that um you know this this makes it this makes it easy for you easy to set up um easy to run and configure and also easy to connect to different vpn locations if you're looking for that this is your thing i would go for it it is 190 dollars though you can definitely find cheaper prices i'm not sure with a vpn built in but express vpn is definitely i would say the best and simplest vpn on the market right now so again uh, i thank you for watching this video if you enjoyed make sure to drop a like comment anything in the uh, comment section and i'll leave some links in the description below um, this is johnny tech and i'm out